uh, yeah, my goal is to help people feeling better, um, empowering people really, taking back their life from the beliefs that they learned that eventually keep them stuck, bringing perspective in their life and help them see eventually what was right 10 years ago might not be right anymore. What was wrong 10 years ago might not be wrong anymore when how changing angle, changing purpose, perspective can help them see more clearly who they are and what their life could be. And yeah, beliefs, I challenge people beliefs and help them really see clearly beyond the fear of thinking differently or doing differently. So I had a lot of questions about life in general and I started to travel around and I went all around the world and I realized that there, has, there, had, there was more things and I heard about Reiki and that's when I started to really understand what was that part that was missing and how to reach out to it and that part was inside of me. So it was like a validation of my own inner world that I had never heard before. Before it was, again, about work, about outside things, not about inside. And suddenly I was given the permission to feel and explore and, and I could allow myself to do that. So it was pushing those limits far, far uh, beyond what I was thinking life should be or what I had learned. This, it was like, <gasps> so much so then it brought more questions and and a lot of healing uh for me and and that was first it was really for me and then i realized that well it was years i was on that inner adventure journey and a lot of people could benefit from it a lot of people um would yeah would like eventually to hear about it and needed help the same way i needed help so that's how I started really to share more. Yeah, I, th I think we're all somebody else's student and teacher at the same time. Very often we wait for a perfect time in our life to start doing things or a perfect position, a perfect status, or when I'll be there, then it'll be different or when. But that's not how it works really. Like time is passing, Your our time on earth is our journey. And there's no perfect time or when this or that. Being. And that, that's something I really learned. Uh, how usually we, we're taught to do. And if you do right, then you will be right. But it's never going to be fulfilling or nurturing that way. It's the inverse. It has to be the inverse. Be you. And from being you, then you do the things that are reflecting who you be. But if you, if you do and expect being... It's never going to work. You could be, you, you can do all kind of things and never find yourself really. Never allow yourself to be yourself. Never meet with yourself because then it's about outside. So it, it doesn't work. So these are the kind of things I help people see clearly also. People can come here for for first consultation or just going to talk about how they're really feeling, what their life is like, what they're expecting. So, some people just come here for relaxation. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be a, always a, a big work together. Some people come here just for Reiki, relaxation and, and just, you know, let go some tensions. But the people who are searching for more support, the people who are going through real challenges in their life, eventually can come here for um, a first consultation during which we're going to talk and see where they're at and from there usually we do Reiki first because Reiki is this very nurturing loving energy so it's this first like <sighs> okay I'm there we're gonna it's gonna be all right okay so this deep relaxation and a big release of tension and already eventually darkness goes away during this first uh, session and then eventually we'll go into bars. Bars are really, it's a really interesting technique that is about releasing energy in the brain. 
The bars are 32 different points that are related to different aspects of someone's life. Money, uh, body, sadness, sex, all kinds of things. And when we run energy in those bars, we release the limitations, the fears, the blockages related to all those aspects of one's life. And in the meantime, we also practice uh, eventually mindful breathing, meditation. I can give some homework to people, you know, to practice during uh, the week until next time. I like to make people feel that they own the journey. I'm here to help, to support, but they are doing it. It's, it's theirs and they choose.